Hey, Jerry from Blizz Studio, and welcome back. In our last tutorial, we put together some cool sounds for our game, so that was fun. Now, what's coming up? We're actually gonna be putting together a screen shake system. So we're gonna put together a system that allows you to call to the screen shake system anytime you need a screen shake. So whether it's going to be a small, medium, or large, and you can make this to any extent that you want. But in this case, I'm gonna use small, medium, and large. So when it hits the side of uh, the wall, it's gonna be a small shake. When it hits the paddle, it's gonna be a medium shake. And if it's game over, it's gonna be a large shake. So it's gonna shake that screen. And if you're ready to get started, let's go. Now we're gonna make this even more cool. We're gonna add some screen shake. So the way I'm gonna do this is uh, I'm gonna add another manager here. So I'm gonna create a new empty game object. And we'll call this uh, screen shake. So screen shake. And then what I wanna do here is I wanna add uh, an FSM. So let's add FSM. And I'm gonna add a couple um, events. So I wanna do this first. So we'll go screen Okay, so we're gonna add an event for screen shake small, screen shake medium, and screen shake large. Okay, so let's do this. We'll go um, shake SML for small, and we'll do the same thing for medium. Shake MED for medium. Let's do all caps there. And then it doesn't really matter, it's just a name. Shake. LRG for large. Cool. All right, so we have those events. Now we need to set up global event um, actions or states for each of these. So that way we can call them each individually. So I'm going to add a global transition of small. I'm going to add a global transition of medium and add a global transition of large. Okay, so small, medium, large. Okay, and they're all gonna be doing the exact same thing, which is shaking the camera, but um, the amount of shake is gonna be a little bit different. So the way we're gonna do this is with the, the iTween, and then you see the option of shake position. So we're gonna do that. So, so shake position, so we're gonna drag that down into this first one, which we want to also do shake SML. And then what is it we want to shake? Well, we want to shake our camera. So we're going to specify game object and we're going to shake our camera. And so what that does is like, you know, randomly moves the position of that around. So what we're going to do is to um, uh, open up the variable for this. I'm not going to add a new variable. I'm just going to hard code this here. We're going to uh, shake the Y and the X. We don't need to worry about doing the in and out. So in here, I want, I want it to be a very small amount. So we'll just do maybe a 0.2 on both the X and the Y. And then the amount of time, I want it to be very short as well. So let's just go 0.2. And delay, which is fine. Loop, we don't want to loop. And uh, everything else should be good. We shouldn't, um, and we don't want to loop on finish. So we're going to uncheck that. That should be good. So let's go ahead and just copy this. So we're going to copy this selected action and we're going to paste that into medium. And then the only thing we really need to do is just to change the numbers a little bit. So let's go ahead and paste that action in. Again, we're shaking the, the main camera. We're gonna change this from 0.3 to, or 0.2 to 0.4. And then also, let's maybe just up this to 0.3 as the time. And that looks good. And then shake large. We're gonna have this, um, again, just increase the time on this. So we'll paste that action in. And let's make this 0.6 and 0.6. And then the time, let's maybe make that a second. Okay. And then that should be good. Okay. So we're not actually calling these yet. So we need to, whenever we hit the paddle, whenever we hit the side, we need to then call the shake action. Yeah. Okay. So here we are. We're going to go to sound manager because this is where I'm doing all the detection, which is fine. Um, we're, we want to play a sound, but we also want to do camera shake. So what we're going to do is do send event by name. So let's go and send 
event by name, okay? And what we're doing is we're gonna call to that shake uh, camera manager and then call one of those three that we set up. So we're gonna go uh, game object FSM and then what FSM is it that we wanna call? We wanna call our camera shake. And then the name of the FSM, we only have one FSM on there so we can go ahead and just leave that. And then the send event is that shake medium, shake large, shake small. So in this case, um, when we're playing the, the side, when we hit the side, we want it to be a small shake. So we should be able to just type in shake SML and then that, that's going to shake the small um, camera. So let's give that a try real quick. Okay, so we need to do the same thing with the paddle. So let's do our paddle, um, go to our paddle sound. Okay, so we need to go into our paddle. When our paddle has hit the sound, we need to go ahead and add an action there. We want to do screen shake medium, so medium. There we go. And uh, then when we hit do the game over, that's when we want to do the large shake. So when in our game over state, we're going to paste that back down in there again and do screen shake LRG. And then we should be good to go. So let's give this a test real quick. Boom. Boom. Yeah, we got a little screen shake for when it hits the paddle. Boom. 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 Game over. Yeah, we've got a big shake for when the game is over. And now we've added screen shake to the game, which is awesome. Boom. Boom. Game over. Yeah. I just want to keep playing now. So in this video, we put together a screen shake system that allowed us to shake the camera based off whatever the event was. So what's coming up in the next tutorial? We're gonna make this thing look pretty. We're gonna add some color to the system. Then we're gonna use post-processing to make our game look really cool. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next video is available. And please, don't forget to share. Share, share this video on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever social media network. And I appreciate it. Until next time, peace.